you know, it's a lot easier to become successful and become somebody if you're not complaining about your circumstances. I always was like the weirdo. I just was a weird kid. I came out in high school. I feel like I was the only person who came out in my whole grade at the time. I think it inspired me just being free in my own world. I don't know, I've always just wanted to empower people to be who they are. That's just it. I started making like YouTube videos and like kind of using my voice to inspire and people started following a lot and they were like, this, this like changed my life, like please make more of these. What if the things you say to and about your kids become the way they know themselves. I did a TED talk to parents about like how to just love your kids for who they are. You are you and that's enough. I spoke at schools for like a month. That's all I could take. I was only 18 so it was weird talking to like 17 year olds. It was like, here's how to be successful. I was sitting in my car. I was playing like tight beat instrumentals and I was just rapping to them. Nothing hurts more than free falling out the fighting. Nothing hurts more than drops of darkness out the shining. It felt like I was just turning my speeches into songs. It felt perfect, it felt right. And I think a week later, I put my very first song on SoundCloud. Basically, I just started going on Greyhound bus trips. I officially saw my vision for what it really was and that it was really happening. Like. I saw these, this line and these people waiting. I was like, this is happening. After the Center of Expression tour, a few labels reached out. They didn't fully get where I was going or they didn't fully believe in it. A year later is when I came out with my new EP, Spaces. And that, I made a lot of the songs in my bedroom closet, put it on iTunes, and that was crazy. That was number one on iTunes. I got an email from Erica Coulter at Epic, and they were offering like a partnership, full creative freedom to be whoever I wanted to be. And that's something that no one had ever offered me before. It was just like, we see you, we believe in you. Like, you don't have to be a pop princess, you can just be yourself. I think what stops a lot of people from being successful is trying to box themselves in. I have a real message. Like, I feel like I'm a real human being and I have like real emotions and real feelings that I put into every single song that I have. I want to be the voice for people who may not like be able to speak. I feel like when we get sad, we can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. It's so hard for people to be like, it's gonna get better. I want people to just feel free. Like they can do whatever the fuck they want. And it's amazing that like, I feel like after my shows, I get so many tweets just saying like, I feel like I can do anything. And that's just it, that's all I want. Just empower people to just be a boss. I'm Lauren Sanderson, and this is how I made it. Making it.